The Nation has published a study revealing the glaring double standard for American corporate media coverage of Israel's war on Gaza and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The study focused on the first 100 days of each conflict, analyzing commentary, editorial priorities, and reporting by CNN and MSNBC. They found that on the two networks, Palestinians in Gaza received far less sympathetic and humanizing coverage than either Israelis during the same period or Ukrainians during the first 100 days after Russia's invasion. The analysis was conducted by media critic Adam Johnson and researcher and data analyst Othman Ali. They said the point of this analysis is not that U.S. media should reduce its coverage of the tragedies in Ukraine to achieve parity with Gaza, but that it should elevate its coverage of the suffering in Gaza to be comparable to that of Ukraine with the same urgent and moralizing tone. Johnson and Ali found that on CNN and MSNBC, emotive words such as brutal, massacre, slaughter, barbaric and savage were overwhelmingly used to describe the killing of Israelis and Ukrainians and almost never used to describe the killing of Palestinians. The two networks also covered the impact of Russia's invasion on civilians twice as often as they did the impact of Israel's bombing and siege of Gaza on civilians, despite the latter having a toll five times that of the former. As well, on CNN and MSNBC, the words war crime or genocide were mentioned over 17 times more in the context of Ukraine than they were in the context of Gaza.